What's up, folks? This is uh, Andrew. Um, I go by uh, Spliff, the name Spliff, in this game I play online. It's basically a, uh, it's like a text-based role-playing game. I've been playing it for a very, very, very long time. It used to be called um, Utopia, and then this one is actually called Mythia. It's an off-spin. From the original, it um, was made by a guy that goes by the screen name of Fug, and he made it after a company bought our old, the old game we were playing, which was called Utopia. Um, a company called OMAC bought it. Bunch of drama. They tr pretty much trashed the game, made it so nobody liked to play it anymore. And so we we made well, Fug made this one, and uh, most of that community came over here. And this is what we do. Okay, I just logged in. Um, this is kind of like a basic thing to show you what it is. This is the website right here. This www.mythia.com. Um, I just logged in. When you originally first start your account, you basically pick from a different bunch of different races, uh, like dwarfs. Fairies, orcs, elves, dark elves, humans, undead. And they all got their advantages. I'll go over that in a minute. Um, and the, you also get to pick a personality with it. And then you pick a name in your province and your ruler name. This is the name of my province, Kalam Kalamazoo Crazy. This is my location in the game. And this is pretty much the details of my province. Um... It's a real math oriented game. If you go in, you got tabs up here for like my economy that shows how much money I'm making and how much people I got. My military, this kind of tells me how many people are out attacking and what I got going on with my military. My science points, um, these all give you bonuses. Um, and a couple others. Potency. This is what kind of spells are active on my province right now. Buildings. These are all the buildings you can build. Um, I picked just a couple. A lot of people make a big mistake. They will build a little bit of every single kind. Big mistake. You want to pretty much gear your character towards whatever its advantage is. And exceed that advantage if you know what I mean you only really want like maybe six seven maybe eight different types of buildings to be built and if you notice you got your percentages right here you want your percentages to be pretty concentrated um, there's a new age coming out in about a week or so and I'll do another video of showing you how I start my province at the beginning of the age. Every age lasts about like a month and a half or so, or I can't remember, like two months or something. It's something, I don't remember. It's a while. Um, so every day lasts 24 hours in the game. Pretty much every time you log in the game, your money accumulates, your province changes daily, people could attack you. Um, you can generate income. The basics. Um, this is, I just want to get you familiar with the, the layout because we're going to get very serious with the next video when I document. For the first time, I'm going to document my province for starting... Starting like the starting of the age, and then I would like to go maybe halfway and show you where I'm at, and then towards the end of the age, show you where I finish. Um, if you click on all these tabs here, you get all kinds of stuff to play with. You get that your overview is what we originally were looking at here. These are my artifacts. You can collect that in a market, which is something that Utopia didn't have, and it's kind of this is it's been in this game for a while. This is a, a an idea that's just been very popular. People can, you can pay for credits, but eventually it, it's really not needed because I usually go through every age and uh, a couple ages here and there I spent like 10 bucks just to get a bunch of stuff and 
the last couple ages I haven't spent any money. You randomly generate gems from different achievements. Um, you can use those gems to purchase stuff on the market. And these are like showing you when, when the next item's up. You can bid on it. Or you can go in here and you can, whoops, you can go into the market right here and you can buy stuff that's available that nobody wanted. Uh, that's kind of a fun twist to it. The kingdom, this is my kingdom right now. Um, this is an old banner I used to. <laughs> this is an old banner. From early days in Utopia, from when I was in Honor Justice, and I figured I'd just throw it up because there actually came kingdom names, Rough Justice. I came here at the beginning of the age, met all these people. These are all brand new people I met. Um, these are all the uh, people that play the game with us. And if you notice, Destiny is pretty much almost dead. That's his acres. So I got a feeling. He's going to have to restart his province. Uh, we're in, we're actually in a war. We've been in a war for about a week, and we're going to stretch it out till the end of the age. And It's been fun. This is what the paper looks like. These are outgoing attacks. These are incoming attacks. It's got all the time date stamps. It's got your gains, your losses, what you did. This is basically like the newspaper for the kingdom. Um, you can explore, obviously, but nobody does that really much if you're attacking a lot. We'll go over all the what you do's and don'ts for attacking, exploring, how to be a big explorer, how do you be a big attacker, how do you be a thief, whatever. Plenty of time for videos like that later. Um, your research, this is where you get all your science points. Um, everything costs gold, gold coins. You can train your armies here, which I'll do right now. Just basically put it, and that's my max I can train. Click train army. Um, I usually keep my draft rate pretty high. My wage rate, I keep my rage weight maxed at 200. It's been like that for several years, and it's just a habit. <laughs> um, which is probably not a good thing. I don't know. A lot of people have got different things they do. Um, your magic page, these are all, you can do intelligence spells or your hostile spells. Give me a minute to read those. And then, oh yeah, and then the magic ones, of course. These are the magic ones. Those are the, host those are the thief ones. And then when you go, like, if you click on this combat one, this is where you attack people. Basically, you just put your, your numbers of how much to break the other person's army. They actually have a calculator that pops up here, which is really unique. It was not on Utopia before. Back in the old school days, um, it's been integrated in this game. If anybody remembers Utopia Angel and all that, it, well, you pretty much got it right here. And I'll show you an example. Um, let's just take uh, some intel real quick on someone. Hmm. Oh, look, he died. Look at that. During this, he died. <laughs> Hopefully he restarts. Um, let's go with this guy right here, Splendid. He's a pain in the rear. Let's get some intel on him. Crystal ball. Click it a couple times so you succeed. Got it right here. And I'm going to do a intelligence on his military he's got some army out he looks like he did all a bunch of raids attacks he's got nothing coming in for acre wise no reason to do an ambush um but i'll show you if i was to try to attack him i'll show you an example of what the calculator looks like traditional march and see how this all popped up this tells you how much he, you actually got to send in order to break his army, which is right here. Um, so basically, eh, say for example, if I had two generals and I did 2,000, eh, whoops, 3, 4, eh. you, get it, you get the idea. Then it turns that color if I can break them. 
I'm not going to actually attack him. Um, I'm sitting around waiting for a bigger fish. So, there's a forums for the kingdom. Um, you can, once you can click here, which I clicked that little circle that comment, that showed me an alert if someone's in the forum. Um, this is basically just you can where the kingdom can talk to each other. You also have a world forum. This is where everybody in the whole world can talk to each other in the game. Um, recruiting forum. Um, you can send aid to people, send like golden runes and soldiers food. Dragons, you can start dragons when you're in war or out of war. It don't matter. These are all the effects that they do. Some of them affect gains, some affect your buildings and your science and your honor. You also have chat, kingdom chat. You can click on chat and then you can chat with all the people in your kingdom. And it also shows the apps against you or going out in the chat room. So if people are sitting in here talking, which I got a couple buddies in here, but I'm sure they're not really talking. Um, let's see here. Messages. You can send messages, obviously. These are all my messages because I'm very popular in the game. And I think it's just because I'm super sexy. But we'll have to make another video about that later. And also, oh, I want to make sure I show you. Over here. Well, if you... See these little buttons right here? This this one's golden because it pulls up all your different options. You can change stuff like your graphics and stuff and background music. And you, they got music in the game and everything. Um, oh, and then if you go all the way down here at the bottom... For everybody that's brand new to the game, if you're just checking it out, brand spanking new, definitely go to the guide right here. And we also got wiki, but the guide's more accurate, I believe. The wiki, I mean, anybody can add it, and I just don't trust it. So, if you want to go over your races, you can click on this. This shows you all your different race options, what the bonuses are. And their personalities. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for taking time to check this out. I'll uh, make another video, I'd say within a week, because I'm going to start a brand new age. Um, the game restarts. And they give us a couple days downtime where we can start up our province. I'll make a video, show you what I picked, what I'm going to do, kind of what my strategy is, and hopefully all these guys will still be here with me. <laughs> I don't know, man. There we go. Actually, not those guys. Those guys are my war. And hopefully all these guys are still with me. Group of about, we got 11 dudes. And, well, actually, we got 12, but that one, Destiny, just died a few seconds ago. He should be restarting his account again, hopefully. And um, that's be it. All right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, obviously, looks like we maybe we had somebody else die, too. Here, hold on. Destiny's dead. Uh, I think I might have banished somebody before we started the war. I don't know. We're doing pretty crappy in the war, but I actually, I think I banished somebody earlier. No, we only got 11 people. So, at, obviously, we got an opening if anybody wants to join our kingdom. Been around for a while. All right. Peace.